Today we're looking at a Sony NT1 tape recorder. It's a digital, uses the micro cassette, and in 1994 won the Guinness Book of World Records for the world's smallest digital tape. I got this little case for the uh, recorder and some of the accessories, a uh, um, audio cable to go from the laptop to the tape recorder, um, a stereo, Sony stereo microphone, and a Sony set of earbuds here. The NT1 does not have a built-in speaker or a built-in microphone and you'll see how small it is and how tiny it is. What makes it such a wonder and such a desirable collectible device. Of course Sony was famous for making miniature electronics and, and uh, so here is the Sony NT1 digital recording device and you can see how small it is. fits in the palm of my hand and uh, pretty small. Here's a pen. Pretty small. There is a tape. I have the uh, 60 minute tape in here. I got this separately. Uh, new old stock tape um, for the unit. And here is the digital tape. See how tiny it is. This is a 60 minute tape. If I flip that open, you can see the material there. And this tape recorder uses a uh, helical scan and it, uh, I'll give you some details on that in just a moment, but let's take a closer look at the unit. has a stop mode to perfect, uh, prevent the unit from playing when it's in the uh, case so it doesn't get buttons pushed and then a pause play or pl pause and resume um, has a uh, built-in clock it's in hold let's take it off of hold built-in clock and calendar and um, we'll let, it'll record a date and time onto the tape so that you can track that information and it has a, a counter to track the amount of time that's left on the tape. <clears throat> and I'll quickly add the holes that are on the cassette. These um, holes right here and the little notches are identifying markers for the type of cassette that's it's 60 minute or whatever uh, 120 minute or 90 minute the record uh, safety buttons are right in uh, I need a, a smaller pick don't I that little red dot right there pushes down and prevents you from recording on that side of the tape or you can do the same on this side so little tiny tapes. So let's uh, put it into the unit. And it is digital, so you don't have the issue of tape hiss um, in your recordings. So those are the buttons, fast forward, rewind, stop, eject, and play. 
And on the back side, we have a button cell for the clock. A battery runs on a single double A battery. And then we have a record microphone in and phones out and a record button. So we'll do a little test recording here. We have the Sony NT1 Scoopman open and I wanted you to see um, the inside so I'm not going to tear it apart any further than this but super precision piece of equipment and the uh, I did some recording tests here and discovered a critical piece that probably is common to these units and that is that the tape can be can get bound up and uh, cause it not to play a record so after forwarding it rewinding it forward it and rewinding it a couple of times I have finally gotten the uh, thing to do a little bit of recording and playing back I'm recording a uh, Linda Ronstad tape off of this old Wallensack mono it's a cassette and I'm playing into directly into the mic input so clearly I'm overdriving the mic input I know that but it's it is recording and then uh, that was a playback onto the little speaker here, back out into the little speaker. So the quality is very poor, although it is a digital recording. So for this test, I just used a Monaro cassette tape to play into the microphone input just to see if I could get a recording on the 120 minute tape. Okay I better stop and I want to get a flag but there you have it the uh, digital NT1 Scoopman 1990s tiny little tape as you saw compared to some of the other tapes. This is incredible and it opens up and uh, and is played the records on both sides. This is a 120 minute tape, which makes it even more difficult to uh, keep from getting bound up because it's so so thin. So I've ordered a 90 minute tape, which will be a little thicker, and it's brand new in the box. So hopefully it will be in fair condition and be able to record without binding up. I did want to show you okay the uh, the tape has a record and not record button right here you push in and that prevents you from erasing that side B side and then you flip it over when you're ready to uh, start recording again and you can turn off the erase prevention button so there's one on each side there's that one and oops, sorry and there's that one so you just push them in with a pin and now it'll prevent you from recording it'll give you an error on the screen so that's the uh, Sony NTC 120 tape. Let me open this up so you can see it. Very small, but pretty robust considering. Beautiful. All right, we're going to record stereo I think this album is 
uh, past the copyright protection. So let's take a chance. Um, there's a way to monitor when you're recording. Let me start this up. And you can hold the, mo the record button in. And this is Chuck Ohm and the sound of brass. So I, that way you can set your volume levels by holding the button in and it does a, a uh, so that's the uh, audio level. So we'll uh, rewind it, pause, rewind it, okay, and rewind the tape. And hopefully we'll be able to record if this tape will cooperate. And it's recording in stereo. It's not playing stereo here, obviously. It has a little audio level meter on it. Okay, so the tape stopped. Uh, let's just rewind it. Okay, so let's rewind it and play it back into the little speaker. The tape is binding up. We have the Sony NT1 Scoop Man open, and I wanted you to see um, the insides. I'm not going to tear it apart any further than this, but super precision piece of equipment. And the uh, I did some recording tests here and discovered. A critical piece that probably is common to these units and that is that the tape can be can get bound up and uh, cause it not to play a record so after forwarding it and rewinding it forward it and rewinding it a couple of times I have finally gotten the uh, thing to do a little bit of recording and playing back. I'm recording a uh, Linda Ronstad tape off of this old Wallensack mono. It's a cassette and I'm playing into directly into the mic input. So clearly I'm overdriving the mic input. I know that. But it's, it is recording, and then uh, that was a playback onto the little speaker here, back out into the little speaker. So the quality is very poor, although it is a digital recording. But there you have it, the uh, digital NT1 Scoop Man, 1990s, tiny little tape, as you saw compared to some of the other tapes. This is incredible, and it opens up and uh, and is played. It records on both sides. This is a 120-minute tape, which makes it even more difficult to uh, keep from getting bound up because it's so so thin. So I've ordered a 90-minute tape, which will be a little thicker, and it's brand new in the box. So hopefully it will be in fair condition and be able to record without binding up. 
The Sony NT cassette tape recording system has a helical scan with three recording heads. The drum spins at 3000 RPM. The sampling frequency of this recorder is 32 kilohertz and um, the quantization is about 17 bits to give you a reference. It's a little less than CD quality but indiscernible by someone uh, with normal hearing.